Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about upgrading the Insect Glaive. Now I appreciate a lot of you may know this by now, but I always ask you guys what other videos you'd like to see and an explanation on how upgrading the Insect Glaive and the Kinsect works is actually one of the most asked after videos. So I figured it was about time I addressed it. Now it's also worth noting, before I get started, that there are two main ways to go about upgrading the Insect Glaive. See, a lot of players will hold off using the Glaive until G rank, simply because not only does the variety of Glaives open up, but it also means you can buy the Glaive you want and upgrade it pretty much from start to finish and go for the Kinsect you're after. However, if you're new to Monster Hunter and the Insect Glaive is your weapon of choice, then understandably you are going to want to use it as you progress. The reason I mention this is because if you upgrade your Kinsect in a very particular way, when it reaches level 10, if you have a 96 in all three stats, that's power, stamina and speed, you'll be able to get the ultimate Kinsect, which has what is known as Effect Extender, and this increases the duration of all your buffs. However, upgrading it with this as your end goal does require you pile a fair bit of power into it, and power decreases your speed, and if you've used an Insect Glaive with a slow Kinsect, you'll know how annoying it can be. Slower Kinsects are not unusable, but they do require you to be a lot closer to the monster simply because the Kinsect travels so slowly that by the time it's reached the monster's location, the monsters usually move. So, this is why I said there are two ways to go about this. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to upgrade the Insect Glaive as a beginner, and the best way to upgrade it as you progress through the ranks. So, to begin with, let's purchase a new Glaive. I'm going to go with this Zamtrios one, the Nave Rod. It's one I currently don't own, so I want to add it to the collection, and it's also a cutting type glaive. So, once you've purchased your glaive, it's now time to upgrade. When you go to upgrade it, you'll notice, unlike other weapons, where you simply upgrade it if you have enough materials, the insect glaive is different. It revolves around feeding your kinsect enough nectar to get it to level up, at which point you can then upgrade it, upgrade it enough times, and the glaive itself will also follow suit. So firstly, if we go to the upgrade option, You'll see, in order to upgrade it to level 2, we need to spend 15 points in it. So let's return to the Give Nectar option. When you hit this page, you'll see a wide range of nectars. The main three are Power, Stamina, and Speed. There are Elemental Nectars as well, but you can pretty much ignore those. Power will decrease Speed, Stamina will decrease Power, and Speed will decrease Stamina. So you can see why, when I said earlier, that if you're going for the ultimate Kinsect, it'll require you to feed the Kinsect Nectars in a particular order so as to ensure that everything ends up at 96 at the right time and you don't end up subtracting from the wrong one at the wrong moment. Anyway, right now, we want to focus on speed. Until you get to G rank and creating the ultimate Kinsect becomes an option, your only worry should be speed. Why? Simply because the more speed you have, the faster your Kinsect. And the faster your Kinsect, the quicker it reaches the monster and returns to you with those all-important Nectars, or Jellies. Now you'll get these Nectars as rewards and from gathering quests from time to time, but you can also buy them from the Waikun. If he doesn't have the Nectar you want, simply go and complete a quest and check his list again. Eventually it'll reset and he'll have the thing you're after. I'm going to stock up on Speed Nectar Plus for the purposes of this tutorial. So in order to upgrade the Kinsect, you have to select the Nectar, so we'll go with Speed Plus. If you look at the bottom screen, you can put a total of 5 in at one time, and on the top screen you can see the bar increase. Once you have 5, hit yes and then you can input more. When you fill up the bar and you hear the chime, that means you've hit the level cap. Hit confirm and you're now ready to go back and upgrade your Kinsect. Right now you'll see our only option is to level it up, so that simply costs 2000 zenny and some basic materials. Select that and return to feeding your Kinsect. Now we repeat the process until it hits level 3. Now that it's level 3, if we take a look at the upgrade option, you'll see there are 4 Kinsects to choose from. The top one is power, the second one is stamina, the third one is speed, and the last one is an all-rounder. We want speed, so firstly, just like before, in order to upgrade this we need to spend some more points. Once you've done that, head back, and provided you have the parts you need, you can now upgrade your Kinsect. Now that we've selected a different one, it goes from looking like this, to this. And now that we have the new Kinsect, we can continue the process. And this cycle continues, you'll again reach a point where you can not only level up your Kinsect again, but you are once again presented with a choice of Kinsects, and again, whilst levelling, 100% speed is just too valuable to pass up on. But, just like I said before, later on, once you hit G rank, you're going to want to go after that ultimate Kinsect, and I'll be doing a tutorial on that soon enough, but if you're just working your way through low, and even the beginning of G rank quests, then a fast Kinsect will serve you well. 
it'll ensure you can grab all those important jellies as fast as possible and in turn allow you to maintain those buffs much more efficiently. As for the glaive itself, you'll notice it will change names as you progress. Unlike other weapons, you won't physically select the glaive upgrade, it instead comes as part of the kin set. And the only other thing worth calling out is that the names of some of the bugs will vary depending on whether you have a cutting or impact type glaive. The principle still remains the same, but the names will slightly differ. And with that, that brings me to the end of this video. Hopefully you found it helpful, and if you did, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like and hit that thumbs up button. And if you aren't already part of the Arix Gaming Nation, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. If you do have any more questions or there's anything you didn't understand, then drop a comment down below or hit me up on Twitter and I'll do my best to help you. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.